Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be taking a trip down memory lane. June 24th, 2013, I put up my very first video on YouTube, which means I have been on this damn platform for 10 years. So much has changed in my life in 10 years. So much has changed on YouTube in 10 years. Just a lot has changed in general, but what I figured that we would do today is I am going to recreate the look in my very first video. Now, I am unfortunately not going to be able to use any of the products in that video because they were discontinued a long time ago. They no longer even exist. So I'm gonna use stuff that I have in my collection right now, but I'm also going to use techniques that are in my collection right now because back then I had zero. <laughs> now I'm not saying it was terrible. It was not the worst thing that I could have ever done, but it wasn't inspirational by any means. It was nothing that I think many people would ever recreate, but I want to just like tell you the story behind it real quick. We're going to do a quick little recap and then we are going to go into recreating that video. Now I am wearing the very top that I wore in my first video. I am wearing the very necklace that I wore in my first video. What I'm not wearing is the hairstyle that I wore in that video and I'm so bummed because looking at it, damn, I loved that hair. I used to have red hair with big bleach streaks in the front and it was so effing cute and I miss it all the time. But that's besides the point. We are going to recreate this look. I am like actually kind of pumped to do this. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Like I've always kind of wanted to recreate this look, but at the same time, I, you know, just, it just got pushed to the back. It got pushed to the back. And then I was like, you know what? What better time to do it than on my 10 year anniversary? What, what is 10 year? Like, it's not like diamond or gold. What is, what's the anniversary? Traditionally, tin or aluminum is meant to commemorate the 10th wedding anniversary. Tin or aluminum. Okay, well, my favorite soda is a Sprite, so if you all want to send me a tin or aluminum can of Sprite to congratulate me, I guess I will take that. Now, first, let me talk real quick about uh, why I started my YouTube channel and what kind of prompted this video to be my first. So at the time, I was working for a newspaper and we got CoverGirl as an advertiser. And this was huge because we were a little local newspaper. So to get such a huge brand was a big deal. And for me, I was such a makeup lover at the time, like at the time, like I'm not now. I was such a freaking makeup lover that I went crazy over it, okay? And we were trying to think of ways that we could really like add value for this advertiser, right? And one of the things that I suggested was, what if I did a YouTube video with some of their products as just something on the side? And they loved the idea, they absolutely loved it. So they sent me over products, which let me tell you to 2013 Linda, when YouTube was not a huge thing yet, okay? When even like PR was not a huge thing yet, to be sent free products by a makeup brand, like mind blowing. I don't think I got another free product sent to me from a makeup brand for like seven or eight years after that. But I got these products and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I almost didn't even care if the quality was mind blowing or anything like that. At the time, I was such a whore for MAC makeup, such a whore for MAC makeup, and that was like all I used. So I didn't even care if the brand quality was that good. I just knew I was getting free stuff and I was so, so pumped. So I created this video and there it is. <laughs> Now this video is nine minutes and 33 seconds long, which was super long back in the day. In 2013, I feel like videos were five minutes and under. So for me to put out something that was almost 10 minutes, I'm like, Ooh, who do you think you are? Now this was just an eye and a lip look. So I did already do my face makeup today. I don't think I was wearing face makeup in 2013, like at all. I don't think I wore foundation, concealer, powder, any of it. So. We're gonna update that a little bit with what we see here. I am just wearing like a very light coverage foundation because even still to this day, I don't like heavy coverage foundation or concealer. I'm not even wearing concealer today. I'm wearing a little bit of powder just where I need it and I'm wearing some bronzer. That's it. Oh, eyebrows. I did my eyebrows because holy shit, I definitely did not do eyebrows in 2013. I don't even think that I primed my eye in that video. <laughs> so before we even get into the video, let me just get all of our bases down. I'm just priming my eye. This is just the uh, the Sigma, what is this called? Perfecting eyebrows? Uh, eyeshadow base primer. I don't know where I got perfecting, like what? Hmm, okay. Let's watch baby Linda. Hey guys, it's Linda from Glitter Fallout. 
and today we are going to be recreating a CoverGirl look that was on the new Flamed Out campaign with Pink. As soon as I saw this ad, I was like, I've got to do this. I love this so much. Loved pink I love the love pink. pink. I love now. the blue. Like, everything kind of blending together. I love how it's all pulled out on the edge. Like, I feel like you don't see that too, too often, like, with shadows pulled out. That you don't see shadows pulled out on the edge? Like, that's not something we see often, Linda? Like, what are you even talking about? But your hair looks really cute. I really like this collection. I really dig it. It's, uh, it's got a bunch of very, very glittery, eye-catching colors. The textures are all really good and um, just really digging it. So I'm curious to hear what you think. And uh, also my nails are also CoverGirl Peaches and Cream. I forgot to talk about that. So CoverGirl, when they sent me the products, they only wanted me to feature this flamed out collection in the video, but they sent me like 30 nail polishes, literally cried, literally cried. And I still have some of them. Oh my God, I do. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you supposed to keep nail polishes for a decade let's keep going okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to start with a good base so you're going to take covergirl shadow stick in number 320 which is hot pink flame put that i guess i did use a base oh my god i didn't realize that okay well we already used this one but they had come out with these shadow sticks and they were okay and i actually saved them for a long time until i think they literally went moldy but anyway all over the lid right up to the crease Oh my God, she's like digging in her eye. Oh girl, shh, shh, shh. Once that's on. So wait, 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 that was like 15 seconds, oh my God. Okay, from there, you're going to take CoverGirl Shadow number 305, which is fired up pink. So here's the thing. I don't have a whole lot of pink shadows in my collection. Also, are any of you surprised that my very first video on YouTube was a pink look because I'm not a pink girl? So here's the thing, that has a sparkle to it so what i think oh my god wait a minute <gasps> we can actually use this exact color i thought that this was going to be too berry but it looks exactly the same to me so this is Maria from the um paradise island nomad palette so we are going to use that color let's see what directions linda says and you're going to pat that all over the lid right up to the crease again look how vibrant this is my sweet summer child. Okay, so we are going to apparently just be patting that right up to, right up to the crease. I love how I was talking about how vibrant that is, but girl, like, that is vibrant. <laughs> Interesting that I did the lid color first also, because now I usually do a crease color first. This color is very pretty though. It's like super sparkly, and even though I don't love a pink look on myself, it is very vibrant. Um, it just has a very nice sparkle to it. I wonder if I put a darker color out on the outer edge. I guess we're going to find out. Once you have that on the lid, you're going to want to pull it out on the edge, sort of like a cat eye. And if you need kind of a direction, just follow your lower lash line and that's your angle. That's still what I recommend you do. So a good, that is a good technique. Although I used to just go like this and follow my lower lash line. What I tend to do now is I go from the side of my nose to my lower lash line, uh, or to my lash line, and bring it up and figure out where that angle should be. So let me see about that. Okay. Y'all, I remember it took me so long to figure out what I wanted my name to be on here too. Like, because at the time, YouTubers did not sign on with their names, like their actual names. Like there would have never been a channel called like Linda, <laughs> you know, that would be the whole channel. Like a couple people did, I lied, a couple people did, or they started off with like names, I don't know. Like for example, Leisha was X Sparkage. I don't know if you remember that, but it was like that kind of thing. A lot of people started off with names. So I spent so much time trying to figure out what I wanted my YouTube name to be. Like I was polling friends and trying to figure all that out. And eventually like my very first logo, I don't know if I can find it, but it was like a fallout shelter symbol for like, cause I thought I was like, I want something that's cute, but at the same time, like, cause you know, it, it, it is edgy. I want it to be edgy. So I thought a fallout shelter. Wow. That's badass. Wow. So punk. Wow. I will say this glitter is kind of going everywhere, but I'm not mad about it. Okay. I will say for that, I pretty much just pulled out the edges 
um, and I didn't blend it up here in the crease at the time, but um, I was, you know, 32 when that video came out and I am now 42. And with 42 comes a little bit of gravity. So I have a bit more hooded lids than I had back then. So I like to be able to see the shadow when my eyes are still open. So that's why I brought it up a bit, but I did still wing it out on the edge. Once that is on, you are going to take Red Hot, is which is an also color? new CoverGirl shadow in the Flamed Out collection. Take a fluffy brush. That's not and fluffy you're just going to fluff that right above, you're going to fluff it, hey, right above the hot pink and kind of blend it out towards the brow bone. And for this, bring it in further towards the nose because pink has it kind of almost squared off and then pulled over. There's like no color. Do you guys see anything? So I think I want to have kind of like a little bit of a deeper, more matte pink. So I'm going into another Nomad palette. This is the Verona palette and the color is just rose. And I'm going to take actually a fluffy brush, the same one I just used to blend that out. I'm gonna take all the uh, sparkles off on my Sigma Switch. This thing is a lifesaver, by the way, gosh. And I'm gonna take some of that, yeah, that's like a matte hot pink. And this, I'm going to really like put that in the crease. And I will, I'll bring it up a little bit more in this inner corner like almost on the bridge of my nose there, just to see, because if we're gonna do a squared off look, we might as well do it. Now, is that necessarily flattering to my eye shape? Who knows, but you know what? It's makeup, we can play. It's a very pink look. <laughs> well, the difference in color is very subtle, but back then it was non-existent, so I guess we're already making strides. Okay, once you have that in place, you're going to take another fluffy brush and blazing purple, tap away the extra, and you're gonna put that right here on kind of like the bridge of your nose, right on the inside, and just kind of blend it out. Okay, so it looks like I kept that purple right to the inner part there. I'm gonna go for the Glam Light. Uh, this is the Creeps and Crawls palette from the first Scooby-Doo collection. And I'm actually going to mix, I like this color better, they don't have names, but there was a bit of sparkle to it. So I'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of the uh, sparkly color as well. And I say to use a fluffy brush, I'm gonna use a small fluffy brush. So this is by Luxie, this is the 231, and it's just a little, it's not quite a pencil, but it is a smaller fluffy brush. And again, I'm gonna dip into that purple and into the sparkly purple a little bit as well. And I'm gonna keep that, just as Linda said, right to this kind of inner corner. Ooh, it's kind of fun. I don't ever put color like right here. Like it's, does it look like I have a black eye though? Yeah, fine. You know what? Again, it's makeup. I don't know if I hate it or not. It's just fun. Now we're gonna work on under the eyes. Already? You want to start by taking a lime green flame, lime green flame shadow stick pencil, and you're gonna put that under your eyes. Now I know pink has blue under her eyes, but it's sort of more of a turquoise. So you'll see how that will get that magic effect. Okay, I do remember this vaguely because they didn't give me like a blue shadow stick, but I wanted blue under the eyes, but I actually do have a blue shadow stick. So this is by Urban Decay. Um, I hope they still make these. This is just eyeshadow stick in fishbowl. And I'm just taking that under the eyes. I will blend this out, but I'm just going to press that up close against the lash line. This is a lighter blue than I want, but it did get all over my lashes, but we're fine. And I'm gonna use just a little pencil brush to blend that out so it's not so harsh and really make sure it gets up into the lash line. This is funny to me because this is definitely something I used to do back in the day was um, I would do a, you know, a bright look on top and then blue under my eyes, always, which I don't know why necessarily, but it was my jam. Again, blend it out with your finger. I didn't blend it out with my finger. Make funny faces while you do it. I did make funny faces. And then you are going to take this gorgeous color, which is number 315, which is Sapphire Flame. Take a pencil brush and you're gonna smudge that right over where you just did the green, but then you're also gonna pull it right under that pink wing. Okay, I see what we're doing. So again, from this Nomad palette, I'm gonna mix these two colors to create that sort of sapphire color, but with um, a sparkle to it, because I still wanted to keep that sparkle. And using a pencil brush, that definitely makes it super vibrant, which is cute. Oh, I just felt fallout go everywhere. 
This makes my eyes look so freaking round. Oh, I got fallout everywhere. Okay, but then pull it out under that pink. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this just with shadow instead of with liner. We are going to fix this a little bit, but this looks so dumb. This looks so dumb. So I didn't do this in the video, but what I'm gonna do, I took a little bit of my cellar water. I wanna clean this up. I can touch up my concealer if I need to, but I want that to be like a little bit of a sharper blue line because this kind of like smudgy, barely there thing is not working for me, so. And once you have that all smoothed out, you are going to take a black eyeliner, any black eyeliner will do, and draw a thin line really close to your lash line. Keep it as close as possible. I, rem I think I remember something, and if I do, I might want to use liquid liner instead of a pencil liner. Let's You're also going to line your waterline, which is that inside part of your eye, between your lashes and your eyeball. I know it sounds weird. I know. It's going to feel weird. But once you get used to it, it's no big deal. NBD. NBD. Put it inside of you, and if it feels weird, it's okay. You'll get used to it. I will go ahead and line my waterline and uh, tight line as well. For that, I'm using the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. I've been liking this one for the waterline. It tends to last on me and it goes on real easily. Once that's on, take a smaller brush. I'm using an angled brush. And you're gonna go back with that same blazing purple, put it on the angled brush, and pop that right over the black eyeliner on the top. The black eyeliner is gonna act as a base and it's gonna make that purple pop like crazy. That's exactly what I remembered. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I wanna do a liquid liner and I wanna pop some glittery purple eyeliner on top of that. I think it would look kind of badass. I'm also gonna take that into a cat eye. I think it would look good. All right, my eyeliner's a little thick and a little uneven, but it's okay. So. What I'm going to be using, let's see if this works. Oh, I'm nervous. This is old. <laughs> this is old. We'll see if it works. So this is one of the Urban Decay double-ended eyeliner and top coats. This shade is high voltage. So it has a perf, like you're supposed to put on black liquid liner. And then this little foam tip is supposed to turn this kind of sparkly purple. Let's see. <gasps> That's pretty cool. No, I don't love this. It's kind of messy. Like, are you supposed to shake it? Like, oh, that's kind of crappy. Let's go even older. We're gonna go with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner, and this is like a sparkly purple. This color is ACDC. Are these liners even available anymore? I hope they are. Well, it's a certain vibe. Take ye old medieval, medieval torture device. Curl your lashes. I kind of like that sass. I'm like, curl your lashes. I'm gonna take the new flamed out mascara. I believe this is in very black. Yes, it is, very black blaze. This mascara is awesome, by the way. It's got a huge brush. Look at that, look at it. And it's got the kind of wave going, which helps to curl your lashes and plump them up big time. Y'all, I loved that freaking mascara. It made my lashes like really thick. Like I go for volume, which is why I'm going for Milk Kush today. Um, and that mascara did such a good job. I remember I was given so many tubes of it. I think I was given like 10 tubes and I didn't give away any of them. I hoarded them all and I wound up using them all. You are going to apply a little bit of blush of your choice. I would stick with a pink. Although if fluorescent green is your bag, please feel free. I'm using this on a skunk brush. A skunk brush, oh my God. I guess that's what I call this. You know what, dudes, this is the brush I used. This is the exact brush I used. This is a Mac brush that I genuinely think I purchased in like 2003 or something. Look, it is falling apart. It is literally peeling apart. Like, can you see that? It's terrible. Should I use this brush for old time's sake? No, I'm not going to, it's terrible. As far as a blush, I think I want kind of a berry look with this. So I'm gonna try, this is the Sigma butt blush in, uh, this is a cream blush. I lied, is this powder? <laughs> I lied, it's a powder blush and it's in Berry Love. 
Oh, that's horrible. Oh my God, oh my God, we're okay. I forgot how pigmented the Sigma powder blushes are. That got real intense real fast. I don't even know if you can tell on camera. And as a highlight, we're gonna to wanna to take another fluffy brush and go in with blazing white eyeshadow and pop that right on your cheekbone, right up here. Just lightly though, it's super glittery, but it makes like a really cool effect. I like it. Wait, now I am gonna use a white highlighter, but I want one with a pink shift that's gonna bring all this together. So I'm going to use from the uh, Unearthly and Heather Austin's Resurgence, Heather Austin Resurgence um, duo. I'm just gonna take a very little bit of this, the white highlighter and really buff that in. This is such a pretty freaking highlighter, my gosh. Back then and now, I think highlighter is still my favorite part of makeup application because I still do that 2016 like, what are we doing for lips? Hmm. But just be careful. There is a lot of glitter. Last but not least, you're going to take CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm in, I think this is Coral Twist. And this, these are really cool if you haven't tried them. They're like in between a lipstick and a lip balm, so they're really hydrating. Okay, so we're going for like a sheer wash of like hot pink. Here's what I'm gonna try to do. So first I'm going to start with the BK Beauty Lipstick in Beauty. This is kind of a more hot pink. I'm gonna dab this on gently because it was not intense. It's more like a bubblegum pink. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this ColourPop Lippy Sticks in at Twilight. This is a bit more of like orangey tone. Kind of a cute lip combo. You're gonna fluff your hair a little bit. Blot. And voila, you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can, whoa, or zoom in. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've tried this new collection, what you think of it, and uh, that's about it. So please click subscribe. There will be more tutorials in the future and I will talk to you later. Bye. Why do I actually feel like I'm gonna cry? <laughs> I feel like I want to go back and tell that Linda, like, dude, no one's going to watch this video. To date, that video, 10 years old, has less than a thousand views on it. It has very few views on it. And like, I want to go back and tell her, be like, dude, I know that it feels like nothing right now, but stick with it. Stick with it because you're going to find these people that are so fucking amazing uh, that will support you and will cheer you on when you are feeling your most vulnerable, when you are feeling weird. There are people out there who love makeup just as much as you do. And maybe we're all not makeup artists, right? We're not freaking makeup artists. We're just people who love makeup. Wow. <laughs> So here is the final look. I hope you all like this. Honestly, I kind of like it the way it came out at the end. I think it's cute. There's a lot I would do different. I wouldn't do this like purple on the inner thing by the nose. That's a little weird for me, but like, thank you guys so, so much. 10 year, 10 freaking years. It just, it feels like I've been on YouTube for both like, you know, a century and for 10 minutes. So it's a little bit of a weird feeling, but I'm so, so thankful for every one of you here. If this is your first video with me, subscribe. That would be rad. Join the Rockstar fam. We'd love to have you. But if you're somebody who has been here for, you know, a, a month, a year, two years, five years, you remember the cat candle, then you're, you're an OG. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support over the years, for your love, for your kindness, for sharing my videos, for giving them a thumbs up, for commenting. Like, I, I just really, really appreciate it. And I hope you know that each time I say it, like it means the world to me. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up, comment, do any of those things. That always helps out my channel so much. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, and forever, and for the next 10 years, you all are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.